we've thought of children as the ones who do service projects at church, but mm-hmm. you're talking about something much deeper than that. You're, you're talking about relationships. You're talking about truly falling in love with people and, um, and, and building on that, you know, so as you, as you got into all of this, were there some surprises from God as you began to, to live more missionally or, you know, did you, did you have some interesting journeys along the way that have, you know, are, are noteworthy that, that made you step back a bit? Oh, the surprises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, so the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes. But you know what? That's the most terrifying part of following Christ, but it's also the absolute best thing about following Christ. You just, you don't know what you're going to get when you follow him. Isn't that what faith's all about? Um, but I would say even if the kids were sitting right here around me, they would tell you so many stories. I mean, the story of, um, we're walking to celebrate a friend who had gotten a job. And as we're walking along the Embarcadero, which goes right along the bay, um, there are two men on bicycles biking by. And it was my son, my seven-year-old son at the time, who's now 17, who had to cover my eyes because these men had nothing on. There's a surprise for you. On bicycles. Yeah. On bicycles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Or it's even just the surprises of like wonderful surprises. Like we had no clue when we moved here, the friendships that would form and even some of the unlikely friendships that would form. Mm, That's sweet. Mm. 10 years in, I can honestly tell you like our kindergarten teacher. So two of our four kids had the same kindergarten teacher. Our kindergarten teacher, actually, she's still not a believer but she is sponsoring a child through Compassion International because our two kindergartners, when it was all about me poster week, had pictures of our whole family and our family includes Saddam in Uganda. Mm -hmm. That's a Mm -hmm. surprise. Those aren't things that you're even necessarily praying for that -hmm. happen. Um, You know, our kids, right? I mean, they, it's hard for them too. It's not just hard for the adults in this house. It's hard for our kids too, but they could run off a long list of baseball players and basketball players that they've gotten to meet that are literally just on the street or they're leaving their hotel. Some of them have actually stepped into our church a time or two. Those are surprises. Those are like, Mm -hmm. thank you, God. Thank you God, for those, those wins. Um, You know what? 10 years in, there's a dozen more churches in the city now that weren't here when we started. Wow. That's a wonderful surprise. That's yeah. yeah, and, And boy, that's, incredibly significant for those that don't know San Francisco. That's, that's a large percentage increase. That's incredible. Yeah. I heard you on a recent podcast saying that when you first went, chose to go there, when you got put on your heart to go to San Francisco, that was considered the graveyard of what church planting or just churches. Church planting. Church planting. And so what we're seeing now is a, is a different picture, isn't it? Very different picture. Yeah. It's amazing. 